everyone, this is Gally and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Dragons. So today, per request, we're going to draw dragons with open mouths. And this is not a very hard thing to do if you think of figures like triangles. So we're gonna start grabbing some ideas from the sculpture I showed in my other video, more to come. I showed you the sculpture of Alduin, the dragon from Skyrim, and he has an open mouth, so that's easy to copy if you want to. So you can have any sculpture you have as reference, or any picture, but I suggest you grab a sculpture because then you can see the 3D side of it. So for example, I will start drawing the head, the base, it's like a, a circle, and thinking that in the front view, his nose would be like a triangle. If we look at him from the side, we're thinking of a specific dragon, but you can think of any other dragon. So this thing, we have our dragon here. And I'm gonna draw him first, and then I'm gonna explain how. So, yeah, you get a dragon here, you know, his horns. It smells like this, and then Tiny, adorable, little angry eyes. And the teeth, but we're not gonna focus on the teeth right now. Okay, so imagine we have a dragon facing the side. So if you want to draw him facing the front, it becomes a little more complicated, right? I'm gonna zoom a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's say our dragon has like a triangle face, like this bottom part is more like a square. Thing is, when you want to draw something facing forward with the mouth open, you have to have in mind the length of the jaw and length of the cranium. Because when it closes or opens, it will look very weird if it's not like the correct distance. So for example, I'm just drawing the examples right now. I'll explain why. So, get off the nose. It's not perfectly sym symmetric, but you get the idea. So we, we get an idea on this one, right? So this looks very strange, it looks interesting to say the least, but it doesn't look that pretty. And this is because when a dragon opens its mouth, it looks like a triangle. And if you can think of what I did here, you can point out what I did wrong. And it was that this part is too big, it's too long. I was telling you, it looks a little strange if you don't match the size. So what I do is you, you grab your sculpture, right? And you try to measure the distance from this part to the bottom part by sight or by literally measuring it with your fingers or... I do it by sight. It's easier. If you don't have a sculpture, you cannot measure it per se, so... If you find mistakes on your sketch or your face, you can always erase. And if you have Photoshop, even better. So, drawing dragons facing forward is never being easy, so don't worry if you can't at the moment. So the thing about having mouths open is that this part here has to eventually have any similarity with this part here. Unless, unless your dragon has a, a longer jaw, for example. If your dragon has like a, a bigger jaw, like this, and this part closes, it will close up to here. And that would mean he doesn't have to have the same length on both things. It's the same way the other way around, like if this, was, was, this part was longer, 
then it will look like this if you closed it. The thing is you have to have in mind the length of the thing you're drawing, the length of the, the mouth, just to make it look more plausible and more realistic. Like for example, a Tyrannosaurus Rex might have like a very thick head, a very big mouth, tiny eyes, super accurate of course, <laughs> and then the little jaw. Somebody can correct me on this, I don't mind. But the thing is what I'm talking about, it, this can have any shape you want. Your dragon can have pretty much any head shape you want. But this part has to have some reality to it. It has to match. And if it doesn't match, as I just told you, just make it possible. Because he has to eat, right? So another thing is how to draw them with open mouths in any other pose. And I cannot draw every pose because it will take me too long, but for example, grab your normal, whatever you do for your sketch, and try to simplify. Try to think of triangles, like you have your head, it's like a Pac-Man, but with longer... It's like with longer... <laughs> a Pac-Man that evolved and became a monster. So, yeah. Dragon is a Pac-Man, okay? Take that as a lesson. Does your your dragon is Pac-Man. So the thing is you can draw them facing the side very easily and just have like the Pac-Man face. No problem there, right? But what happens when your dragon is not exactly facing the side but is looking more like this? Like you have a, a face and your dragon is opening its mouth, like yawning and it's very complicated, and then you think, what do I do? Oh my god. Well, try to think of it in 3D terms. So, for example, your dragon wants to yawn, right? Well, remember that teeth have to grow somewhere. So your dragon has rows of teeth on either side of the top of his jaw. And for this, I truly recommend you look at skeletons and, and skulls of different animals so you get an idea where the teeth are. For example, this is a jaw. But this part here, right here, is the flesh connecting the mouth. For example, this part. But this part you can look at dinosaurs or crocodiles or... Well, they don't have that really, but you can see that. As tongues as well. Like, if you don't know how to draw something, doing it by imagination alone has no merit, really. You have to look for things and how they look, so then you can make fantasy. Fantasy comes from reality. The more fantasy you look at, you see that it's based on something resembling reality. Skyrim has buildings based on real buildings, and I don't know what else you can think of, like Lord of the Rings, the dragon is based also on a snake and a different animal. So everything you see in fantasy came from reality. Just have that in mind when you're creating. So Google and reference different creatures when you're drawing your dragons. So, so imagine you have your dragon already, your face, and now he's looking in a three-quarter view. So now this is, this is looking better, right? It doesn't look so flat. Another tip I have is try to do the outline of your dragon as if you were going to make him look 3D. It's rounded. Right? Your dragon is rounded. He's not flat. He has a shape. It's probably this shape. Yeah, so you can construct another shape inside of that shape. See? Ta -da! So there are many ways to do it, really, but my first recommendation is look for reference. And also you can grab sculptures and images. Even your own pets, when they yawn, take a picture. <laughs> they look adorable. 
So what else? Fantasy comes from reality. So this is very important. And yes. So those are the points I will leave you with. Reference, 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 please, please. I can only show you so much really of what I know. And what I know is come from reality, from taking pictures and looking at things. And I probably would have been much better at this if I had done my research beforehand when I was younger. If somebody had told me reference before, I would be like, no, no, I want to draw from my imagination, right? But don't be afraid of going ahead and referencing because it's not stealing it's something wonderful we have things we can see now and the internet helps so you're not stealing by referencing it's the best way to learn so please go ahead and draw your own dragons with their mouths open this is just the base you can change this pose with any other dragon and what I recommend is go and google some famous dragons and try to draw them with their mouths open and you'll see how different they can be. Some of them don't even have teeth. Like for example, you wanna draw Spyro. Spyro has a very rounded head, right? Like a very short snout and very big eyes and horns like this, I think. How would he look like with a mouth open? Or Figment, Figment from Epcot, from Disney. He doesn't have teeth. How would he look like with his mouth open? Or maybe Maleficent. Might not be getting her right, but she's beautiful. You can... I don't know. Like grab any, any dragon you like and try to imagine them with the mouth open. Always remembering that where this one connects with this one, it's the only angle you can have. And... Another thing I was almost forgetting, this part does not open. This part opens. And by opens, I mean it's like a hinge. So this part here has a hinge and this part goes down. This part does not, okay? This part does not open, not open, this opens. So if that's, o that's open, unless it's a snake, it can open its mouth like way, way too much. Like, I don't know, if you have a snake here, instead of opening this, it would probably be like this. Yeah. Unless it's a snake, it would look very strange. So always, always reference and have that in mind. So that's all for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. And if you want to keep updating on what I do, please just click the bell icon on the top of my profile and that will let you know when I submit new videos. There is more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.